following segment is sponsored by Petland. 714 on Iowa's News Now, and yeah, we're not going to... We're not going to lose out on the chance to talk to puppies. And, of course, Ron from Petland, Iowa City here. Uh, uh, Ron, obviously great to see you, even if you're not here in studio at Broadcast Park. But the question we have for all businesses right now is uh, how are you guys doing in Iowa City? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on. And, oh, i got to introduce little Susie. I suppose, yeah. I often <laughs> refer to her as the sassy Susie. She's being very nice right now. She's Good. saying she's going to calm down for the, the newscast here. <laughs> Uh, Such a pro. Business has been really different. Here, we just went through a remodel. Uh, so we put a half a million dollars into the store, which was actually a great thing because a lot of the sanitization and everything that we uh, concentrated all through the, the renovation is now coming to play that we're actually using and benefiting it from it today. Um, th the crowds are definitely starting to dwindle because of uh, the, uh, what the governor had put in place a couple days ago. But we're, we're still going forward. We're sanitizing everything on a much higher frequency, especially on the human side. We're very uh, conditioned to do it on the pet side. So on the human side, we're just doing kind of the same thing over there. Um, but it's really neat to see you know, how people are coming in, uh, keeping the social distance, which is another word that we'd never heard of before. Um, and we're also doing a lot of uh, appointments. So people will call uh you know come on in do their business and then come back out we also are doing that curbside uh business as well so if somebody wanted to come in and uh but not come in uh get some supplies we'll go do the shopping for them and then bring it out to them yeah drive uh, drive, so. drive through isn't just for humans i suppose but we were talking yeah. about this during the break too people talk about you know kind of the essential businesses in life and, and maybe you don't put pet stores up there at least you know you're thinking about it in your your everyday goings on but yeah, if you're not going to a grocery store, your pets need to eat. How how are pet stores beyond that even uh, part of those essential yeah. businesses? Yeah, so you we've got Petco, PetSmart, Pets Playhouse. Um, all these different stores have very unique products, uh, different than what a grocery store would have. Uh, here, people might not realize I buy over three thousand crickets a week. We buy mice, we buy rats, and that's for all the different uh, foods that our pets need. Uh, you're not going to find, and I think it's a good thing, you're not going to find those things uh, at the grocery store. I don't, I don't think I want to find a rat at the grocery <laughs> store. And so, so uh, that, for that reason, we've become an essential business and need to stay open. We are adjusting our hours a little bit. So we always say, hey, if, you're, if you need something urgent, just give us a call. We'll make sure we can make it happen. We're opening up on the same time. It's just when we close. Uh, but yeah, essential business, that's another one of those phrases. What, what is that? You know, two weeks ago, what is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Now it's, it's uh, all the rage. Yeah, that's one of those that's uh, starting to enter the lexicon here. We talked about this too. Obviously, people are coming in to get food and, and products for their pets, but you said there's people coming in looking for pets themselves right now, maybe a little separation anxiety during the, uh, the pandemic uh, so social distancing. Right. And, and that's something we just didn't expect, you know, so we are taking care of the pets in our store. Um, and, and there's a whole chain that has to occur on how we take them in and find them homes and all that. And it's all detailed out. So we're maintaining that. And we were a little, little surprised on the front end, but it makes sense. Um, people are wanting pets, especially, you know, they're kind of nesting right now in their homes and saying, you know, I, this might be a good time to add poo poo. Uh, to the mix and we could do some training and all that. So they're coming in and saying, yeah, this is a good time to get a pet. So um, so we've seen an uptick on that as well for considering what's going on in the, the world today. Sure. But again, we're taking all that sanitization really, really seriously. And our customers are taking that uh, seriously as well. And they're very appreciative of what they're seeing. Certainly great to hear. And certainly good to see you even again, if you're just coming through the 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 interwebs right now, but we appreciate seeing you, Ron, and uh, certainly wishing you guys all the best down at Petland Iowa City. Again, you just heard they're open and, and ready to help you out for whatever your pet store needs are. It's just not the same without the puppies in here. It's going to be great to have you come back, though. So take care, stay isolated, stay safe, and we'll, uh, we'll keep checking in with you as much as we can, Ron. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, Mitch.